Um, and Radiant to your point out, this one stun on Chaos Knight actually has to get a lot of work done. If it goes on the Phoenix, you know there's going to be a call down there. I can test this, or at least it looks like it. He's spirit bringing in numbers as well. It's a 4v4. Rumble in the river. Let's go. Mushi getting the one second done. That's a lot of damage, but they took the turn and they wish such a cast gets enough. So they all chains out. They keep the air copter life. Iceberg will finish him up. But now he's slow and he's to back himself away. That cast got a bit of time left on the cooldown, and it looks like Fnatic have to settle in the end. And get the early magic to get fairy fire, get the mango so. Creeps come marching in, and even though they had vision of Team Spirit walking forward, they might be able to catch out, and they do kill him. Fnatic saw coming the whole way, and they still give up the kill. Mushi, unable to turn, I think just underestimating the damage output, and here they look to turn now. Ohio moves into position, he is level 6, he's got the mango, he has the egg ready if it's needed. Needed, so he gets the kill. Brainstone always want to find the Oracle, but this will leave Afterlife to have a free lane bottom. Take full advantage of it now. Phoenix is supposed to rotate in. I think it's okay that he, does, he gives the little bit of free time time to the bat rider. Mid lane, they've made the rotation onto mid one. They go. I start copying the ultimate committing, and I have the storm together with Aduke. One more auto tech, just barely getting the kill. The Almost enough to secure his retreat, and now they turn on the net. Again, the Fortune Zen get to set things up here. They follow it up. Iceberg survives as an egg gets placed on top of Fnatic, but cleaning up everything. DJ, as well as a 1v1 when you can get it fast, maxed out, it's a big source of damage, and we're seeing him get a lot out of it. Nancy should have tanked a lot of that damage as Curse Spirit rolls away, but still have him here with the dive. And indeed, they do. Ohio. Cleaning that one up and four zero. <laughs> the the counter LD. What are you talking about? Yeah, just, let's just run in towards the egg with that delicious 650 HP pool. Speaking of which, it's gonna come into play now. The Kumon always gonna fly. And they send them packing. Fnatic ramping up the aggression. It's afterlife. Meanwhile, diving. The this is looking to be a very poor bat rider, guys. Eight minutes in. He had to come back for the Reign of Petrolia, but he is just nowhere to get He had the 1v1, then he had the empty lane when Phoenix left him. When you go for a dive like that and don't get the kill, you fall very far behind him. We're seeing another kill get picked up by Fnac in the mid lane. Iceberg goes down. And now bottom. They're also looking for something here. The Chen is in pursuit, trying to finish off a retreating DJ, but not sure he's going to be able to do it. Mid one turns the with the Astro. Oh, 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 he goes. Not done yet. He's going to get DJ here. Does he have another? Oh, no, he got him. Finally. That's three seconds cooldown, five seconds duration. Oh, God, I will say, Fnatic said the full complement of here. Just hasn't. Uh, quite had the right rotations that he's needed to this so far. Always want to fly. A bold move. Jumping on Nabushi. Can he get the solo kill? No, he healed up the Phoenix to it again. Ah! Ah! I think he might actually <laughs> land. He will! <laughs> well, just, just end the game now. Give this man the MVP medal because there is no way anybody else is going to do more for Fnatic. All, all I've seen is like carries and mid gets MVPs. But I mean, they get zero and two. I think with that one is laying, he's done it all. Yeah, generally they hear a player getting lots of kills, which is still a higher. But inside, it's so like, oh, we'll get this item, or we'll get such and such, and then we'll be fine. And uh, things are going to continue to struggle as Rand is now the next on the receiving end of the potential game. All down comes through. It's going to help confirm the first kill. That's the dead oracle. Egg. And the play with the OD Gyrocop. As much as the Phoenix is the top performing hero, he's still going to just. He's always going to be pesky. Job I thought he had an easy pick on that. That was not the case. But we, when you get that bat rider blink, you've got to go, go, go. Find pickoffs, get your smokes going, and and look to find kill. He's very powerful against the Chaos Knight illusions and just in general. It slows the attack speed. The phys there's a lot of physical damage when you look at Razor Chaos Knight. Oh. oh, that's not where that wants to be. Hooked <laughs> up the ramp. Always want to fly his way to Phoenix. Dominant showing here on a hero that has had seen very little success thus far in Major Ramsey's Fourth is night time, so he's jumping to see that even after breaking the smoke walks directly into the full three-man squad. And quickly sacrificed well, two supernova available, so it's gonna take the additional three attacks to kill it off. Talks about Team Spirit, not the best of doing this. And you can fight around the egg if you want by fanatic thing. Well, not only the egg, but also the call down goblin the man is caught by most everything. They jump onto Iceberg, Ohio chasing him out. He is going to fly up the hill, has the, all the fire spirits going on him, and now the magnetite's coming through. This is just a brutal coming to finish up Iceberg. They will get the kill. He survived for a decent amount of time, but it's just not enough. 10 down, Razor down, Fnatic, offense, offense. Game for Fnatic.
At the same time, Spirit trying to make their move, but unfortunately there's a very quick reaction there on the self master by mid one. Prevents the E last, so Grab and now after life. Definitely trying to run away the car out, gonna come through with this one too, maybe three Ramsey's trap fight as well. Bushi being hit up the stun rate, keeps him in fighting safe in Ohio. It's gonna stay alive through this. They drive back iceberg still only the witch stock they're dropping. Hey, Cairo had a good call now. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> just a follow up. Yeah, needed to follow they already committed the egg at that point. After all the all the crap we gave Bushi last game, I think they just a little up here. Here they go though. They found out DJ behind the tower. He's gonna drop very quickly. First down by the purifying flames and barrage of nukes. Team Spirit. Kind of timing. Spirit just stayed on the bottom side. Let's see. Do they have any vision here? They do see Ramses right now farming the jungle. Go for the long range pick. Roll forward. They're gonna isolate the cast nine. He managed to spend his gold. Gets the armor recipe in place. He is to trade. You can get Roshan, they'll TP in as I defend this tower. We've got OD. He can solo Rosh with a full stack. No problem. Rosh dropped me very good. Yeah. We, we just we we went up there for like three seconds, but it is incredible, and they have one. Here we go. Always want to fly. Trapped up and added good smoke for this. They will find a pick iceberg and with an invisible bottom lane, hiding in fog, waiting for an opportunity to roll in and have a yeah, he it. Here we go. Bottom deck should get it. Ramsey's trying to troop around the trees here. He gets the three seconds done off on the in one, but there's even more backup coming through. And they're going to be enough to get out of the death board as well as a magnificent. I mean, they back up through afterlife. Is he going to pop in the well? Barely surviving. Combination of spells there. They even hang out to the hand of God. But the ult was committed for that one, but still they've got the magnetize. In the driver's seat and they need to do so. Mid lane, they set up with the blink astral. Call up coming through, that's the more boost to call out there. Goblin on the run, not just gonna make it out, gets six and dealt with. So Mayo is up for a rolling boulder, a boulder smash, and while he beats he may TP in. These two can single handedly wipe the entire team if they get their combo off. Wait, DJ trying to bait here. The magnetize coming through is going to force Ramsey's back quite a bit. And the rest of the team sending on the engagement. That rider now forced to run after the last of the do match. Get the OG as well as the Earth Spirit picked up, though. And always want to fly. Almost finished off here by Mushi elsewhere. Just TP's out in the nick of time. And Mushi's going down here on the bottom lane. And wants to go into Goblet, but as you're pointing out, yeah, everybody's on the run. It looks like Ramsey's is going to end up going down the <laughs> mid one. It's going to take a Armor lot of it. toggle. The no more you are the toggle, the more intel he's getting, by the way. Just so you know, Ramsey's. Oh, either that or you die. <laughs> That's a <laughs> five. Five. <laughs> All right, thanks for the intel. <laughs> well, that was happening. Wait for that. I didn't think it's a necessity, but they're close to BKB on OG, as you just mentioned. And a couple other and a big item pick up that coming their way. They may look to just spam for a couple minutes before going 16 by that stage. Oh, just finds the yeah. astral in time. Chen does have hand of God that literally nobody in that fight. And Ramsey it is. The split push in the, the mid lane, the top lane isn't there, so it's outside though he's looking for the lasso opening, has the four staff available. Matic. Oh, showing only a hero that is really a problem in this card. That's Bushi. They do have to grab one. They want to transfer this episode, even has to be KB. They got it completely chased down where he's going to turn this fight around. Oh, being held for now. Trying to steal some damage. Drop the hammer. Eviscerate two. Looking for the third. The false promise. Keeping Ramsey's alive for now. Looks like he will be okay. But the rest of the team, not so much. Good Astral there dodging the fountain shots as they drag him back towards the well. There's another reality rip too. Maybe can pull him in again. Seem like it's the case of Attic striking back in game number two, taking a lane of Brax, and they've done it in style. 31 minutes in, now looking for Now they're diving the fountain, LB. All right, Fnatic, a loss here. Oh, they got the refresher. It was the highest, like, guys, I need to get the fountain of my hide and come with me, come with me. Go for a team shopping trip. Yeah, at this stage, there was no real comeback potential. Celebratory supernova from a higher, the MVP of this game. And Fnatic just... Dominant here in game number two. I think they played well in game number one. There was a from maybe like Mushi's individual play, but this time around Mushi says we're gonna forget that move on and as a team Fnatic just out playing Team Spirit here. Is it possible that for the first time is it the, would it be the first time ever that there were two Southeast Asian teams in the upper bracket, or were Zenith and Orange both in the upper bracket? Oh during together. TI and stuff? Uh, probably some T at, at like it you would, know, way back.